let's just move on to a another chart pattern that we can see in charts and this one is a reversal signal called a double top now this is really this pattern here is just a variation on our medium term uptrends we know that medium term uptrends is where we see a stock achieving higher peaks and higher troughs we see it all the time there's our peaks and there's our troughs now this is just a variation because what we're finding is we've got a higher peak higher troughs everything's looking okay but as we move back up here we haven't quite gone higher than the previous peak and achieved a higher peak so it's enough for us to at this point in time just raise a little bit of doubt about the strength of this medium term uptrend that we're seeing not enough to give up on it but certainly enough to just doubt the strength the key level becomes this dashed line here that's because it's the previous trough if the stock breaks down below that level not only have we failed to achieve a higher peak we are now on our way to forming a lower trough and we are clearly now in a medium term downtrend it's just a classic reversal signal right here we're seeing weakness in the trend but just give it some time just to confirm break back down through this middle level here the trough and we are clearly seeing a reversal and a medium term downtrend uh, has commenced what we may also see is a triple top so again I'll just uh, remove the pin here and start again perhaps the price just trades back up again but again hits a similar peak so we've now got a triple top again if it breaks back down through just a classic reversal signal why is the price failing to move any higher one of two or a combination of two reasons one there's just too much supply and of course uh, hand in hand with that it's just not enough people in there buying prepared to support the price to go higher the exact opposite of that is a double bottom um, if we just take the previous chart completely turn it around so everything is the same except uh, around the other way we have a double bottom again a classic reversal signal however I will just make one point about this reversal signal I don't like it anywhere near as much as a double top and let me explain why in the workshop I explain my rule of V where how often we see stocks rise in price over a period of time let's say a few months only to then give it all up quite quickly if not quicker we see that all the time what we don't see anywhere near as often in fact it's quite rare is to form this pattern we see a stock fall over an extended period of time only to then just turn around and move back up again it just doesn't happen happens all the time rarely happens it's my rule of V well this really is here so what we're trying to do with the double bottom is in fact have a, a V occur and you know what it just doesn't occur and I remember when I did the graphics for this this little example here I really had trouble finding an example which went you know a reasonable distance away from the reversal so nowhere near as keen on this particular pattern as I am with the double bottom as I am with the double top I should say and finally today I'll just talk about some triangles now of all the the few chart patterns I've just gone through triangles would have to be my favorite um, we can go through all the descriptions here but you know the best way to look is we'll look at some examples and I'll show you the different examples ascending descending and symmetrical but obviously what we're trying to do is identify the pattern right of a triangle in the chart and we can tell certain things with that so what we're doing is we're seeing the highs and the lows converge let's go straight to the examples and have a look the first one here would have to be my favorite and I use it quite a fair bit and that is an ascending triangle now what are we seeing here notice the pattern there the triangle there what we're seeing is the highs through this period of time remaining quite constant staying the same that's the supply however at the same time the lows are increasing the lows are getting higher so what we can draw from this is the resistance from the sellers is remaining quite stable quite passive however the support the demand for this stock is growing over time and they're becoming quite aggressive moving this lower line up well we're really getting into a bit of a pressure cooker here something has to give something has to break and often we find it's the more aggressive side which gains the ascendancy overall so what we can draw from that is when we see an ascending triangle if it's going to break more often than not it will break higher as it has in this particular example won't always break again this pattern may just fizzle out to nothing but if it does just like breaking through no ordinary resistance if it does it'll do it probably quite quickly and uh, won't look back so we really want to get in on this break put our stop down here below the triangle and enjoy the ride again let's turn that around completely 
exactly the same except upside down. So we now have a descending triangle. So now it's the support, the demand for stock remaining quite constant, but the sellers and the supply of stock are becoming quite aggressive and consuming a lot of the demand and forcing the price lower. Again, if we're going to get a break from this pressure cooker here, it's likely to be the downside who are gaining the ascendancy and force the push further down. And again, that's what's happened in this particular example. Finally, a symmetrical triangle, symmetrical triangle, where we don't have an ascending, we don't have a descending because we don't have a flat side. We have two sides like this, both on an angle. So again, we just have the highs and the lows moving together into this corner here where something has to give. One side has to break. Now what we can say here is perhaps the angle of either side may just give us a bit of an indication of which way it may break. Let me just explain further. If these prices were way down here, we'd find that this lower line here was far, and if we draw a centre line here, this angle here is far greater than this. Therefore, it's fair to say it's the demand and the, the people wanting this stock who are being far more aggressive than the sellers pushing it back down. It may just lead us to, um, you know, again, a probability that it may just break higher simply because that side has been more aggressive. In the example that I've shown you, it's pretty, you could argue that really there's no side that is, have, has a clear advantage over one or the other. But like any pattern, we want to see confirmation. We want to see the break and then act upon it. So just trading in here somewhere thinking, oh, which way is it going to go? Wait for this break, trade it, place your exit at a good spot below the, the other side of the pattern and enjoy the ride. Well, that just wraps up this very brief, as I said, a very brief overview of some of those chart patterns that I just really didn't have the time because of all the other things we spoke about during our workshop. I just thought I'd spend some time with you, just giving you my little overview of some of those patterns. Um, again, there's our details. If you wish to visit either myself or David's website, there's the websites there. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us and ask. And if we need be, we'll do up another video and explain further uh, what we're talking about here. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>